What's up guys? So today we are going to be talking about all of the books that I am probably going to read for the fall spooky season. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult because, like I said before, we're moving. It's complicated military life. Going to be kind of crazy for the next few months. But these are the books that I know that I'm definitely going to bring with me to Florida. With that being said, let's get to the books. All right, so here we have The Butterfly Garden. I heard about this book from Gabby Reads when I think when she was doing her summer ween vlogs and it really intrigued me so I got it. I started it and stopped at like 25 pages. I don't know why, honestly, but I want to continue to read this and finish it. But this is basically about this like weird guy who kidnaps girls and calls them his butterflies. So he like collects all these girls and the FBI, they find these girls and they're trying, it's like interview style with one of the girls that they found trying to get more information from her. So really interested in this one. I think it'll be like a difficult read cause like it's difficult topics, but I'm hoping that this is like at least a four star. Then we have wrong place, wrong time. This. I guess like fairly recently came out, but it is about a mother. She sees her son murder someone and when she wakes up the next day, it's the day before the murder. So she's trying to do everything that she can to stop whatever is going to happen. So she's like reliving the same day over and over again. I'm very excited. Yo, these words are huge. I thought maybe I got like the large print, but nope. This regular size, I guess. And then we have the Thursday Murder Club. I am so excited to read this. I have wanted to reach for it multiple times this month, but I haven't because I have so many other books that I'm trying to read. But I guess this is like a group of old men who are trying to solve unsolved murders. So that sounds super cute. I think it's gonna be, I don't know. It seems like it's gonna be funny too. I'm just like super excited for this. I think I'm really, really, really going to love it. The Lies I Tell. I think this is about like a, maybe a con artist. Yeah, yeah, she's basically a con artist. So it's a twisted domestic thriller and that's all I wanna know. I don't like knowing a lot about like, especially thriller and horror books. I don't like to know about them before I get into it. So all I know is that she's a con artist. Apparently there's gonna be lies, obviously. And uh, I'm super excited for this. I would like for this to be a five star. So we'll see. Creep by Jennifer Hillier. I tried reading this and it gave me anxiety <laughs> because I was home alone and it was like 11 o'clock at night when I started reading this. So I am going to try this one again. Hopefully I'm able to finish it. So I mean, I think it'll be pretty good if it was already giving me anxiety, like the first two chapters. So I am going to bring this with me also. Insomnia. I think this book will be interesting because I have really bad insomnia. In the dead of night, madness lies insomnia. So this is about Emma. Her mom used to have really bad insomnia and she's starting to have it, but her mother went crazy. So she's like, oh my God, like, am I gonna go crazy too? That is what this book is about. I think, I don't know, I've heard mixed things, but um, I feel like I also have high hopes for this book, so. Okay, so the next book that we have here is Hell Followed With Us. This is about a 17 year old trans boy on the run from a, the cult that raised him. So it's like a fundamentalist cult and he's searching for a place where the cult can't get their hands on him or on the bioweapon they infected him with. So this is like a post-apocalyptic kind of setting. It sounds interesting. I hope it's good. I get like, I don't know, I feel like YA is most of the time a miss for me, but I want to give this one a shot. And then Wicked and Wild Things. I got this a while ago and I still haven't read it. And I don't know, it's just like, it looks like a fall book. It has deckled edges. It's super pretty. I mean, come on. So this is like a reimagining of the great gatsby so 
I feel like I'm gonna like it. I really have been meaning to read this for a while. So the fall is when I'm going to read this book. And then I got this the other day. First, I have to show you my bookmark. It's The Exorcist. I kind of really like it. It's very flimsy though. Okay, I got Not Your Average Hot Guy. I don't know, I just like felt like I wanted it. <laughs> So this is about a girl named Callie. All she wanted was a quiet weekend with her best friend. She promised she could handle running her family's escape room business while her mom was out of town. Instead, a satanic cult shows up, claiming that the prop spell book in one of the rooms is the real deal and they need to summon the right hand for the devil. But when the summoning reveals Luke, a handsome demon in a leather jacket who offers to help Callie stop the cult from destroying the world, her night goes from weird to completely bizarre. Does that not sound good? But I feel like also one of the reasons why I got this book is because RJ and I, we've been watching Lucifer. This is kind of giving me Lucifer vibes. I mean, not completely, but something like that. So definitely gonna read this for the fall. There's some books that I'll probably talk about on Kindle Unlimited that I also want to read, but this is definitely one of them. And then of course, all of our demise. I got this literally as soon as it came out. This is a sequel to All of Us Villains. I always forget the name of the first book and I think it'll be good. It's definitely chunkier than the first book, but it's definitely fall vibes. It's like Harry Potter and the Hunger Games mixed together. What's not to like? Suburban Hell. I got this at my independent bookstore. It just sounded like super entertaining. I saw, I forgot what booktuber I was watching, but I saw a booktuber, she was talking about it and she said that this book was giving her Grady Hendrix vibes from the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. So it says, a Chicago cul-de-sac is about to get a new neighbor of the demonic kind. That's all I wanna know. That's all I wanna know. So, and I love the cover. I absolutely love the cover. And then we have The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I think this cover is just so cute. I really like it. And you know, witches fall, you know. It says, a warm and uplifting novel about an isolated witch whose opportunity to embrace a quirky new family and a new love changes the course of her life. I think I'll like it. I don't know what's happening to me, guys, honestly. I've been intrigued by romance. Who am I? I feel like I'm having like, like a crisis over here. Like I go to the store, I browse the, you know, horror section, don't really find anything grabbing my attention. And then I browse through the romance section and there's like five things that interest me. What is happening? I don't know, but it scares me. Moving on. Okay, we have the, uh, Yes. So I'm excited about this. I mean, it's all, what, five books? Really chunky. I love floppy books. Um, I guess this is like a serial killer. It says, romance with a stabby twist. I don't really wanna read the back. I just wanna go into it blind, but this has been a very like popular series on booktube. So I'm gonna have like a lot of time in Florida just sitting in the hotel. So I'm planning to read this. Then I got this the other day, the babysitter, deckled edges, love to see it. Um, what is this about? I don't know, a babysitter who gets murdered? In the waning days of the turbulent 1970s in the wake of unsolved child killings that have shocked Detroit, the lives of several residents are drawn together with tragic consequences. I don't know, sounds interesting, sounds entertaining. I've never read from this author before, um, but I really like the cover, so <laughs> yes. All right, and then we have Uzumaki, uh, Junji Ito. You guys know I love him. And do I know what this is about? No, not really, but I mean, just look at that. <laughs> Should be interesting. I like to go into Junji's books blind, um, but I am definitely excited for this one. 
this is going to be part of a of an upcoming vlog that i'm going to be doing so this is the only book that i'm going to tell you about that i'm going to be reading for that vlog so i'm very excited to get to this because it's been sitting on my shelf for months and then we have the witches of moonshine manor i don't know it, it just sounded cute i don't know what it's about a coven of modern day witches a magical heist gone wrong a looming threat sounds interesting <laughs> i like the cover as well were some of these cover buys yes i have you know it is what it is um sounds cute it has witches fall i wanted you know kind of something like something light and fluffy but still giving me like my you know halloween vibes to like break up like the dark books that i want to read oh my god now we have another cover by what is this about i don't know there's no such thing as witches right oh it's about a bookstore owner found family witches love i like it oh my god i forgot about one okay i'm gonna get it in a second Next we have Dark Stars. This is a short story collection from different horror authors. And you know, I don't think all of them are gonna be great, but I'm definitely interested in reading this. Cause I also got this when it first came out and I still haven't read it. I don't know, I feel like short story collections kind of like scare me because most of the time they're not good. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I, end up really liking this one all right then we have arsenic and adobo i don't know why you know the universe is funny because in one of my videos i was like oh <laughs> i feel like you know cozy mysteries are for old people and recently as well as romance i've been interested in getting cozy mysteries i bought a lot of cozy mysteries have I read them yet? No, but it feels good to own them. So we have Arsenic and Adobo. I mean, it's a cute cover. I, I don't want to know anything at all. Um, you know, I'm sure poison in food. So sounds good. My friend Heather really likes this. So I am definitely excited to dive into this soon. Okay, I'm gonna go and get the other books that I missed. Oh, okay, I picked out more than just the one. Over here we have The Dead Romantics. I also got this a few weeks ago, but I guess this is like, this is supposed to be like, kind of like supernatural, paranormal-ish, I guess. I don't know. I'm just gonna go into it blind. Doesn't really look like a fall book, but I'm gonna read it in the fall because you know what? I live in California. I'm going to Florida. We don't see snow. We don't see leaves change. So technically it's, just rotates between spring and summer all year long, which is very sad because I definitely miss the fall season. Anyways, next we have The Paul Bearers Club by Paul Tremblay. Do I know much about this book? Oh uh, no, I mean Paul Bearers, we all know what that is. But I think it's really interesting because there are annotations in this book. So it's like this guy just talking about like, I guess stuff that happened in his childhood and he has his friend reading through it and she's making notes like, oh, that's not how that happened. Oh, like, what are you talking about? It never happened that way. So unreliable narrators, I think it'll be interesting. I've heard very, very mixed things about this book. So I'm curious to see which side I'll land on for sure. Do you see this pile of books? How am I gonna? Honestly, I'm just gonna get like a suitcase and just fill the suitcase up with all my books that I'm gonna take. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because you best believe I'm not gonna leave behind any books that I haven't read on my shelf. I'm gonna feel so bad, they're my babies. And then I also got the first book in the Veronica. <sighs> Why can't I talk today? I got the first book in the Veronica Speedwell series. What is this called? A Curious Beginning, London, 1887. That's all I want to know. That's really all I want to know. Um, I hope I like it. I know that Katie Coulson like raves about the series and everyone else who has read it really likes it. So I wanted to give it a go since I'm kind of like 
reading books out of my comfort zone and learning that I actually do like reading from different genres. So that's been interesting. Okay, and the next book, I don't, I mean, it's not like really a fall book, um, but the cover, I guess the cover doesn't really give me fall vibes. It just gives me like cozy vibes, but I know, I don't know. Should I tell you? Yeah, I guess I'll tell you. Magnolia Parks. I am jumping on the Magnolia Parks train. I always say that I like to go against the grain, but apparently not. I have the first and second book. I'm getting the third book. Haven't read it, but I think I want to do like a vlog where I read all three of those books. Do I think I'm going to love this? No, but it might surprise me. And I think I'll have a fun time because I'm planning on annotating it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, but I think these are all the books that I'll be reading in the fall. But you know what? Don't tell my husband. I'm planning on going to Barnes and Noble tomorrow. And then I'm just going to sneak the books onto my shelf. And hopefully he doesn't notice. <laughs> so that is my plan. Um, but that is all I have as of right now. Let's see how many books I can stack. My God, it's hitting my throat. <laughs> can you see them? Well, that was a workout, so uh, I'm going to go relax now. But I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. And um, let me know what books that you're planning on um, reading for the fall. I would like to know. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and it means a lot to me. So um, take care. Ooh.